Hey everybody, good morning. We're uh, starting Proverbs 1 today, and I'm going to give you just a quick little uh, um, uh, maybe background about Proverbs, maybe to help us understand it just a little bit better, um, and then, then we'll move into Proverbs 1. A proverb is a short wisdom saying with practical implications. You know, so this, these are uh, wisdoms. These, this, these proverbs are considered to be the proverb of Solomon, although some of it, or even most of it, was written after his death. But this is Solomon to be the, the wisest man on earth, sharing some of his wisdom with us. Um, go down to see some some differences between proverbs and psalms. In psalms, we find Christians on their knees. In proverbs, we find Christians on their feet. The Psalms are for the Christian's devotions. The Proverbs are for the Christian's walk. The Psalms are for the prayer closet. The Proverbs are for the business place, the home, and the playground. So this is very going to be very, very practical teachings in these next 31 chapters here. Uh, I want to break down the chapters just a little bit for you. Uh, Proverbs 1 through 10 is advice for young people. Proverbs 11 through 20, Proverbs for all people. Proverbs 21 to 31 is Proverbs for rulers. Um, you know, those are not um, kings, queens, stuff like that, sure. But also, anybody who has, <laughs> excuse me, any type of authority level, whether it be at work, whether it be even at home, men at home, um, you know, and we should know all of this. We should, we should know the advice for young people as, you know, sometimes God puts people of different ages in our path. Um, so, little little history and background on this to help help you out. Uh, we're looking at um, chapter one. I'm going to pull out two verses here. I'm going to pull out verse seven and verse thirty three. Verse seven says, "The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction." I mean, that's pretty self explanatory right there. That you need to have that wonderful reverence for God before you can begin to understand his wisdom, before you can begin to understand the knowledge of who he is. Then we go and look at verse 33, but whoever listens to me, this is talking about wisdom, whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear of evil. Of course, we see the opposite of fear of the Lord is what? Fear of evil. A little bit different of a fear, though. Uh, the fear of God is a, a reverent God, that he is who he is. And fear of evil is, of course, fear of uh, evil having its way, um, which will only cause death and destruction. But you see the, the, the two contrasts right there. It says, whoever listens to me will dwell safely. So whoever listens to these Proverbs, whoever listens um, to what God is teaching and saying, those are the ones that will dwell safely. Whoever fears the Lord, those are the ones that will dwell safely. So I pray for your life that you are not fearing evil because evil will always try to make you afraid. But I pray that that, that fear that the devil is trying to ensnare you with you combat it with faith and fear of the Lord that I serve a wonderful, mighty God. And there is no devil in hell that can scare me away from that. I love you all. I hope you have a super day.